What's up guys, welcome to the channel, and welcome to what I decided to play for my 9,000 subscriber milestone. Wanted to play some Genesis Alpha 1, one of those games that I played a, a long time ago on the channel, and uh, everybody always kind of likes when I play this one. Uh, so yeah, kind of a blast from the past. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into a new mission. What corporation are we going to go with? Uh, I think I normally play like Superior Genetics. Uh, I don't know. I could do, I could do general ballistics. The only things that really change are modules available to you and starting weapons, along with some of your other things like resources and whatnot. Uh, we get the most modules out of superior genetics and general ballistics. Frommen also gets 23. Mm. You know, let's go with General Ballistics. That'll be fine. Yeah, we'll go with General Ballistics. As far as our crew is concerned, uh, do we want to go with some Hollows? Or do we want to go with just humans? Let's just go with humans. That'll be fine. Artifacts. What are we going to do for artifacts? Uh, probably go with different rooms. Uh, I could also go with the Robotnik. The Robotnik's always a good idea. Mm. The Black Edition. Beaming Station. We go for turrets. Well, these are little little walking robots. Uh, I could start us off with... Where is it? There it is. One of these things. The big old combat robot. I like those. M10 robot could also be good. Uh, or we could go with the harvester upgrades for enhanced cargo capacity. That's also a good idea. Decontamination. I mean, I've got a lot of spaces here. Uh, let's go with the harvester upgrade. I don't think I want to do any weapons. We'll just stick with whatever weapons they give us. Uh, let's go with the Robotnik. That'll be fine. Uh, yeah, the Tracker would be a good idea. Just to make things a little bit quicker in the beginning. <laughs> Fuel rods, nitro, cable, centrifuge. Centrifuge, I think, would be good but uh, let's not worry about it for now. Should I get the security gate? Decontamination, maybe? Might be a good idea. Harvester speed is always a good idea. Yeah, let's just make it some easy stuff, huh? Barrier at the beginning. Biotank capacity. Not that big a deal. Uh, let's go with the big robot, sure. Why not? And then... Uh, I don't know. We could go with the little... Uh, this one repairs energy modules. Sure, why not? Doesn't really matter. Galaxy setup. We'll leave it as whatever it's going to be, which should be just basic for everything. And, uh... Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to have to obviously Our dream was to build our little, uh... Our spaceship, to the ship which will be fun. Here you build and upgrade our ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we gotta do a. We gotta do Welcome a. Welcome uh, to the bridge, Captain. Yes, thank you. Here you can find the galaxy terminal, hyperdrive control, and computer mainframe. The corridor connects modules and is available in different designs. Yes. yes. Make sure you balance the ship's layout between security and efficiency. So I'm obviously going to want to do uh, different uh, different layers here as far as uh, our various things that we're going to do. Uh, let's get a turbo lift. The lift module grants fast access to higher or lower decks of the ship. And then let's go ahead and rotate that way. One 
there. Maybe go up one more level. Sure. Why not? Okay, now as far as our corridors are concerned, let's see. What do we want to do here? Uh, where do I want to put all my habitats and everything? I don't know. I don't need anything too crazy. Let's see here. Mm. Well, let's go ahead and do the uh, tractor beams and all that stuff. Get the greenhouses up and running. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Sure, why not? Okay, let's see here. Okay, we're gonna need our greenhouse. This is a greenhouse. The concept of cultivating plants on board of our ship is central to the Genesis project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no technology known to us that can effectively store or even provide a vital biosphere for the full time of our endeavor. Different life forms also demand different biosphere components okay. to survive on this ship. To compose a certain biosphere, we need special plants. Superior tractor genetics cloning beam. technology we'll is not configured the for the creation beam. or reproduction of plants. Crew quarters. Each crew member needs a slot in one of these modules. If a crew member is sick or feels bad, you can most likely find them. I think we only need one of these right now. Yeah, I think we'll only need one of these right now. Uh, Cantina would be nice, but I can always do that later. Let's see. Need a deposit. Need a storage. Need a hangar. We're going to need a tractor beam first, though. The Alpha Quadrant is full of shipwrecks. Our tractor beam module is a fast way to acquire can't already refined materials. Can this go materials. here? No, can't. Materials will be directly moved to the ship storage. No deposit and no refinery required. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, oh yeah, that's what it was. The tractor beam can't have anything above or below it. That's what it was. I remember now. Okay, so if that's the case, let's kind of section this off over here. Let's put it, uh... Let's put it this way. Just because I'm not gonna worry about, uh, some of this. I also don't know how long I'm gonna be playing this, uh, particular save. So, let's go ahead and put that there. We're gonna need a storage, which is fine. This is the refined 20. storage module. Production ready materials leave the refinery and will be stored here. Keep an eye on our refined storage capacity. If we run out of space, the refining process will be placed on hold. Our refined materials just... are the source for shipbuilding, weapon, and ammunition supply. Where the heck do I want the storage? The storage. Uh, I could make the storage like over here. It also kind of depends on where I'm going to put the refinery as well. Hmm. I would also like to have a robot station. This is the refinery. Raw materials will be enhanced here. This process takes time. To increase refining speed, assign engineers to work in the refinery. Yeah, where do I want to have the, where do I want to have the, the hangar anyway? The hangar we could put on a different floor, which we probably should, uh, which means our refinery and our hangar and our storage should probably go on the same floor, potentially, so that way our uh, units aren't going to be walking back and forth a whole lot. Uh, 
Let's see here. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Quarters are going to be there. Tractor beam is going to be there. I guess I could uh, could take this and rotate it slightly. Eh, I'll just add the corridors. I'm going to be lazy. All right, so. I think we want to go that. How big was the hangar This is our again? hangar module. The hangar is necessary to acquire resources, plants, or other interesting things from planets and shipwrecks. You need to assign pilots to operate a hangar. Please use the hangar terminal for additional information. We could do something like this, maybe? A little bit more room off of that. Yeah, so let's see. That's going to be uh, one, two, three, I think. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Alright, so there's the hangar. And we're going to need... Which side do I want to have this on? Uh, let's see, we'll go in from there. Robots are going to be here and here. They're going to exit from the hangar. I think it's easiest for them to get this way. Possibly. Can't really remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. As far as our refinery is concerned, we want to do something like that. Normally, I just have it be a straight shot, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now then. Ah, we don't have enough for our storage because we need more framework, which means I need to get rid of the refinery. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do a storage here for now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the deposit. The deposit is for the raw materials that are harvested, so it's not a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? We'll just do that. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, okay, as far as our ship name is concerned, I'm just going to leave it as the USS Genesis. That will be fine, and go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What an ugly ship. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Chavez. New captain promoted. What's up, Chavez? Okay, so Job let's assigned. go ahead and assign a crew member to here. Hello, crew member. And let's go to. Uh, I think this is where our greenhouse Survival is. Okay. Job assigned. Actually. I don't really need that many people, but yeah, that's fine. We'll have two people here for an hour. Why not? Okay. Uh, what do I have for weapons right now? I've got the shotgun, the little laser pistol, which is good. Power shotgun, laser pistol. That is fine. Where's this thing? Access granted. Okay, and then we've got the laser rifle, the uh, shotgun, and the pistol. That is fine. I'll take these turrets. I'll take these energy barriers. Okay. And we've got to go to here. Do, do, do. We still have to assign someone to the tractor beam. Lovely. Job assigned. Okay, so that's all of our crew, which is just fine. I'm going to need more framework. There's nine framework there.
Gunpowder. I mean, gunpowder's good, but it's not what we need right now. There's framework. Okay. There are many ships. As our turrets are concerned. Let's see. Energy beams. We could worry about that right now, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Pretty sure we can go ahead and block this in. Keep our crew a little bit safe here. Yeah, come on. Resource beaming complete. There we go. Resource acquired. Uh -huh. barriers though. Okay. We can help him out a little bit. Resource beaming complete. Resources collected. A refinery would definitely be one of the next things I want to get. Resource acquired. And, you know, it's really a shame we're not going to get a sequel for this game ever. This game deserved one. There's just something cool about the aesthetic of it. I don't know. I really enjoy it. Resource acquired. Don't think so. Yeah, if you've never seen this uh, this game before, the basic premise is that uh, we are trying to find a planet that will uh, be sustainable and uh, allow us to pretty much take it over to uh, let our clones and stuff like that, because we're all clones on this ship, doing our little clone thing. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much just trying to take over a planet and do this thing called an Operation Genesis that will... Uh, allow us to terraform the planet. So, uh, yeah. Name of the game is Explore the Galaxy and, uh, Gather Resources and, uh, yeah. Pretty much that is, uh, long and short of it. You discover new technology as you go through planet to planet and area to area. Stuff like that. Okay. Welcome so. to the ship yes, thank you. Okay, so what does that put us at? That puts us at... Let's see. We can get our refinery. We can also get a robot station. Which would be nice. Okay. So as far as our refinery is concerned, uh, I do want it down here. Uh, these uh, green dots are our crew members, by the way. If you were curious. Let's go ahead and put this... Uh, do I want to have it here or here? There is a difference in how that works, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and do it this way. Stuff builds instantly, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, what else do we want to get? We definitely want to get our workshop up and running. Respawn chamber is not necessary. Ship assault. Uh, I'm not too worried about ship assault for now. Uh, a workshop would this be nice. This is a nice. workshop module. 
Here, we research and construct weapons and defenses. You can also configure the weapon racks with your favorite selection Can't of weapons. Here. Assign engineers to the workshop in order to speed put up research here. processes. Never actually hooked it up to the hangar before. Hmm. Sure, why not? It's probably a terrible reason, but you know, whatever. Okay. Uh oh, oops. Don't want that to keep growing. That is uh, uh, bad stuff that can happen. Anytime you see this gas and stuff like this, that means bad stuff is growing in your ship and you need to take care of it because it can lead to either... Uh, it can lead to either enemies spawning or... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it can lead to sickness, it can lead to enemy spawning, it can lead to a lot of bad stuff. Uh, so you have to stay on top of it. You can hear it. Ooh! I believe this is an enemy spawning one. Oh yeah, I can hear it. It's, it's in the ducts. There it is. I know what that is. That's a scorpion. Oh man, this stuff started growing real quick. Okay, gotta deal with that stuff quickly. Otherwise, it will grow very, very, very quickly. And bad stuff will happen. That's like the number one thing that kills playthroughs is that stuff uh, growing out of control. So you pretty much always have to do uh, regular trips around your ship and listen for it. Anyway, now that that's done. Okay. Let's go down to the hangar. Oh, sorry. It's the greenhouse, not the hangar. Oops. You can name these, by the way. Pretty sure you just bring up your PDA. And, uh, yeah, that'll do your, your ship naming and customizing and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so hangar. To increase the yes. Okay, so workshop. Alpha one. Workshop is for building weaponry and stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to want to get some batteries and gunpowder for all of the things. Robots. We need framework for the Robotniks, which would be nice. Alright, our refinery is here. This is where you take your raw resources from your storage and stuff like that. Uh, right, let's do this. Okay, so what do we have here? There's a fern for oxygen. Oxygen is needed for your, uh, your crew. The higher oxygen you can get, the better. Uh, there is a site here, which would be nice. Iron framework, lithium battery. I mean, everything will be useful for us, uh, but we're gonna sand. go here. I will be the only crew to go. You can bring other crew members with you, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now, because I don't want anybody to die or bring back sickness. They can bring back uh, enemies with them on the ship, like if you send off your, your crew to do uh, missions for you. Bad stuff can happen. Since we have the uh, detector, though, the motion sensor, this will be uh, relatively quick. Especially for finding the site and stuff. Uh, look at that. Thanks for the shells. You have to be careful of enemies spawning on occasion. 40%. I think this is just like data on areas that you can go to or something. 60%. dudes. Not too bad. Oh yeah, we need a biotank. Uh, 
about that. There's some iron. Iron turns into framework. See you. Harm touch. Nice. You can get various abilities, things like that, from uh, aliens that you fight. They will drop DNA samples. You do have to gather a certain amount of it. I think you also need to have, like, the, uh, the cloning facilities and whatnot. For now, we're going to focus on uh, iron, chiefly, because we need a lot of it in the beginning of the game. Lithium is for batteries, and the way this works is uh, once you get your refinery up and gunning, which uh, we, we got that up and running uh, very quickly, because I knew that we were going to need it for the hangar trips. Did everything die? Uh, all of your resources are going to spawn near your ship, like this. Now, it's funny, I'm pretty sure at one point this was supposed to be a VR game. This would have been perfect as a VR game. I say this every time I play this game, but it would have been so perfect as a VR game. It's a real shame that it never got up and up and running like that. So the laser pistol has infinite ammo, by the way. You can get upgrades to all of your weapons. You just have to find them at sites or researching for the right things and stuff. It's all very fun. I really like how this game plays and how it looks and all that. It's a, it's a pretty simple game, but it does what it does well. It's got a pretty decent cult following. They, we all want sequels for this game, but unfortunately, not in the cards. I'm pretty sure Radiation Blue isn't even around anymore. Unfortunately. Is that all of our slots filled? Yes. Okay, let's get out of here. No reason to stick around any longer. Let's turn. Easy peasy. The early planets are all always be pretty good. Alright. Deposit space required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got storage. Oh, did I not make a deposit? Oh, I thought I did. My bad. My bad. Uh, let's see. What did I need for a deposit? One more framework. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's fine. You will lose resources. Mm, I don't think I will, actually. Because I have another storage. That's fine. Okay, so now let's get our deposit. This Welcome is for raw to the materials. Raw there we go. Yeah, got teleported here. Our little robot should start going off and doing their thing now. Which is very good. Very nice. So the uh, robots you start with, uh, they're the basest level ones you can get. Uh, they're not very fast, so you do have to uh, deal with that. But, uh, yeah. It's not too bad. They'll go and do their little thing, though. Oh, jeez. Stop that. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. 
always got to be careful. Stuff growing. The way stuff grows is, uh... On occasion, you'll see, like, blue spores and stuff like that come off of the uh, resources you bring. That's them, uh, tracking in bad stuff. So, like, anytime you see materials and they've got all this green stuff on them, it's bad stuff. It's bad stuff. You don't want no part of this. That's normally when you would put in, like, decontamination chambers and stuff like that. Um, I do not have that unlocked, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but normally you'd want to do that. Alright, got a little bit going here. Uh, don't have any extra crew, so can't do anything about that. If I had a cloning chamber, I would be able to, uh, get started on that. I would need a biotank and all that, but I don't have one. Uh, there it is. There's the mist. Well, it's gonna grow. Yeah, it's gonna grow here. And it's probably gonna be one that's gonna grow here. Yeah, you can see it. There it is. Thank you. Yeah. They take a little while. Is that everything? No, almost everything. Yeah. You start off with a number of these little charging pads throughout the areas. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's like a couple in here, inside the workshop. There's a couple inside of the, uh, the hangar. Oh, I hear you. Where are you? Are you down below? Or are you up above? And there's going to be down below. Yeah. Yeah, some of them hatched. There is it. There is it. As you can see, they can grow relatively quickly. Which is not good. Decontamination chamber is so useful. Otherwise, you're running around your ship cleaning it up the entire time. It gets a little annoying sometimes. Especially if you don't like hearing that sound effect. Framework all started up here. New materials have now, what did we want to build? Cantina wouldn't be a terrible idea. The clone lab would be very, very nice. Biotank would be also very nice. Tank would probably All be biomass you collect idea. will be stored here. Make sure we. Oh. Where are you? Dead sucker. Yeah, sure would like to have a decontamination unit. 
usually when I start up uh, a game on this, I always bring a decontamination yeah, unit just because of how useful it is. But, uh, I don't know, didn't really, really bother with that this time. Yeah. So, uh, one nice thing you can do is uh, you can bring your actual crew members out with you, which is nice. Uh, right now, right now, I don't actually have spare crew members. Hey, Sergeant Mora got promoted. So as crew members do a certain number of actions, they will then get upgraded, which is nice. Are you following me? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as they do uh, a certain number of actions, they'll get upgraded, and when they get upgraded, they can do more things, have more weapons, they'll be faster, new stuff like that. Have been hmm. There's also other little things you can do as well. You can customize, like, the coloring on your ship, so you can make it all nice and pink if you want. <laughs> All just kind of depends on what you choose. Eh. It's alive. I can see you. Where are you going? Where are you going, you little bastard? Stop that. So uh, enemies go for these things, the energy nodes. Uh, once those are destroyed, uh, the actual like connections to your buildings and stuff like that will uh, be destroyed and uh, well rather they'll lose power and once they lose power um, you'll run into problems uh, if something is without power for too long it will be destroyed so you have to be very careful about that kind of stuff so yeah all right uh, let's see can't do any of that right now could get one of those. Could get one of those circuits. We need centrifuges for the uh, Stalkalos. Uh, you know, it might be worth it for us to. Uh, might be worth it for us to bring a crew member down here. It's like, it's not that big a deal when you're by yourself in the beginning, but it is a little inconvenient. If anything, it'll just go faster. I mean, we've got enough crew members to uh, warrant it. Stop that. So if you haven't noticed, uh, a lot of the spores and stuff like that, they're going where robots are standing near with these uh, little refining things. So they'll go along the path. So they'll they'll kind of spread this way, then they'll spread this way, and then they'll spread throughout this room. And then from there, they'll branch off into like storage rooms and go from there and stuff like that. So you do have to kind of pay attention to the paths that your robots take. That's why it's a bad idea to have like all of your storage on a separate level from your refinery and stuff like that, because then they'll just be traveling from one end of the ship all the way to the other end of the ship, and bad stuff will happen. So, yeah. You want to keep a good buffer against uh, that kind of issue. It's more complicated than it seems. There's a lot of background stuff that kind of goes on with it. Alright, so that's all of the uh, iron. Now we've just got the lithium to take care of. You can also prioritize stuff. Yeah. Platinum and gold are very rare. New 
Let's go ahead and get some batteries going. Once we get some of those, we can get some more energy shields. Energy shields are very, very important. You can use those to uh, help deal with blocking off parts of your ship. Which is always, always, always a good idea. Come on, robots. Sometimes enemies can pop out of these resources when they get put down places, so you have to be careful about that too. New materials have been refined. It's like one of the one of the places where people like to put up shields and stuff is right around here. They also like to put them down in the deposit, which is always a good idea. Uh, same thing with the hangar. People like to put down uh, shields like right here. Same thing with here. That way you can block things off along with these openings right here. It's always a good idea to block those off. Any more things growing? But yeah, you're going to need a lot of gunpowder, you're going to need a lot of batteries, you're going to need a lot of iron and framework and stuff. How much do we have left, by the way? One. Then we don't need another greenhouse. We already have our workshop. Space travel doesn't matter. Hyperdrive doesn't matter right now. Mm -hmm. Oh man, biotank would be good. Robot station isn't really super necessary. like to get another reactor, but I need cable for that. Yeah. Yeah. New Lots to do. Have been refined. Where are, oh, they're downstairs. Oh, they grow so fast. It's another reason why the motion detector is so good. It'll immediately tell you if there's bad guys in your ship. These are upgrades that you can do for your modules. Don't worry about that. It doesn't really matter right now. Okay, cool. Mm, yeah. Uh, another thing people like to do... By the way, did I get enough... Uh, did get enough batteries for at least one of the uh, energy shields. Processing. Not too bad. Then we need gunpowder for more turrets. You're gonna need a lot of those, by the way. You can't not use them. And then those automatically get put here, which is just lovely. Uh, as far as where I want this. Normally, I would put it. Normally, I would put it like, I don't know, over here to kind of block this area, like that. And then the next one, you can put it like right here. Then anything that spawns here will uh, get killed. Uh, and then from there, you can put a turret down, like so. Very nice. Uh, as far as where I would like to put these other turrets, the tractor beam is obviously a primo location to put it. Let's go ahead and put this uh, here. 
This one will cover both this side, this side, and this side, which is good. Sight lines, you, need to, you do need to be careful about sight lines. Uh, this last one I'm going to put inside the tractor beam room. Up top. No, up top? No, let's not put it up top. Let's put it, uh, let's put it down below. Like so. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is, uh, this is a really fun game. I, I enjoy this game. Um, I've played, uh, I've played a decent amount of time on it. So on and so forth. Genesis Alpha 1 has been, uh, it's been on my channel for a long time now. Um, as far as, uh, me playing it and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good, gotta say. Pretty good. I appreciate the work that they did with it, but, uh, the only unfortunate thing is that, uh, yeah, they, uh, they kind of trashed the ability for us to get a sequel to it, which is always unfortunate. But uh, anyway, that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. You can also talk to your crew, rename them and stuff, which is lovely. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, again, thank you for the 9,000 subscribers. I always appreciate it. I'd like to see if we can get to 10,000 by uh, the end of this year. we got... Uh, you know, six more months. Well, like more like, you know, five more months. Yeah, like five more months. But uh, anyway, thank you guys. Love you all. Thank you for continuing to uh, support the channel and whatnot. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll keep uh, uploading stuff when uh, when the mood strikes me. But uh, yeah, you guys all take care. Uh, bye bye.